Us humans are creatures of habit. Many of us are still fond of carrying around these filthy dollar notes. Did you know that a local study found that they actually carry around as much bacteria as the soles of our shoes? Well, going cashless can actually reduce the spread of bacteria. I know that it can be daunting because there are just so many options for digital payments out there. Well, fret not and let me be your guide to the world of cashless payment. Let's take a look at some of these apps that are offered by your local banks like DBS, UOB, and OCBC. Most of them are linked to your bank account, so any payment made will be deducted directly from your account. Most of these apps allow you to transfer money using the usual bank transfer service. But you can also use PayNow, which is a peer-to-peer -peer funds transfer service which was launched by the Association of Banks in Singapore. PayNow, which is not to be mistaken as DBS PayLa or Pay Anyone, is a service for individuals and businesses to send and receive money easily. You can make a transfer just by entering a mobile number or an identification number, or if you're transferring payment to a business, you can scan a QR code or enter a UEN number. Now, speaking of QR codes, the Monetary Authority of Singapore has created a standardized QR code specification. So whenever you see a QR code with the SGQR logo, you will be able to scan and pay using your choice of bank apps or any other payment apps. Are you still with me? So basically, if you have any of these apps, such as OCBC Pay Anyone, UOB Mighty, or DBS Pay La, you can use the Pay Now or SGQR services to make payments or transfers. You can use most of these bank apps to pay bills or even loans. Most of them have their own promotions and discounts that you can take advantage of. If you want the option to also pay using your credit card, UOB Mighty allows you to do just that. After you've linked your UOB credit card or debit card to the app, you will be able to make your payment through your NFC-enabled mobile phone. DBS PayLaw works a little differently from the other bank apps, as it has an e-wallet incorporated into it. Each time you make a payment, money will be transferred to your e-wallet and paid directly from there. Now, I'm not too sure what the purpose for that is though, since the transaction could be made directly from your bank account, right? NetsPay is an interesting option if you don't quite fancy what your bank has to offer. Like the DBS PayLaw app, you have to transfer money into your e-wallet before you can make a payment using this app. To transfer money into the app, you can link any of your Nets bank cards to it. This means that you have the option of using different bank accounts to top up your wallet. NetsPay has also partnered with UnionPay. Similar to Visa and MasterCard, it's widely used around the world, especially in China. And you can make payment to its participating merchants using this app. So most of the solutions that I've mentioned are tied to your bank directly. But if you're someone that prefers to use a good old credit card, here are some solutions for you. Most of your credit cards would already function as a contactless smart card and you can use it to pay for your purchases. With technological advancement, tech companies are capitalizing on the global push for a cashless world. We have apps like Apple Pay, Google Pay, Samsung Pay, Fitbit Pay, Garmin Pay, as well as the new Huawei Wallet. Most of these apps work the same way as they use the near-field communication on your phone or watch to carry out contactless payments. Most of the apps also allow payment for public transportation options. However, not all apps give you the same benefits. Users of Samsung Pay can earn reward points which you can exchange for vouchers from food and drinks to resort stays. New to the game is Huawei Wallet. And for now, ICBC Bank is the first that they are partnering with. If more banks come on board, this could be the first contactless payment app that we can officially use in China. Google Pay Singapore has recently announced a new food discovery feature which allows users to find out about nearby eateries and place food orders too. The update also allows payment through PayNow. 
but this feature is currently available only for OCBC customers. Google says that other banks will be added soon. Your payment options are largely determined by your choice of bank and device. But hopefully in good time, we will have a super app that can unify all the best services from each app. I hope this has helped you understand a little bit more about digital payments. Till the next episode, see you!